Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Contenter Crafts. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me. Today I've got a What Have I Bought video. Um, it's just a short video, but I thought I wanted to pop on and share um, the products with you. So first of all, I'm going to um, start with this cardstock. Um, and the first three items are from the range and um, this is um, the luxury card stock and it is from Craft Sensations. It's 12 by 12 and there's 20 sheets in it and they are 220 GSM and it has a linen texture. Um, it doesn't tell me whether they are acid and lignin free, so I'm not too sure on there. Um, however, it is a lovely um, cardstock. It's like it says, it's a linen texture and there's some really, really pretty colours in there. Um, your lovely pastels. That would be a lovely one for Christmas. Got a nice bright pink there, um, a pale bit sort of baby pink, a lovely red, um, a nice orange one there, very vibrant that one, it's really pretty that one, a lovely yellow and um, a nice lemon and a pretty green one. What I was thinking was, um, they would be lovely to use for either your cards or your 3D projects. And if you wanted a nice change from your white or cream card, um, you know, it would make a nice refreshing change. So that's, that's the first one. And the next one is a... Um, again by craft sensations and this is a foiled design pad um, and this one is pastels now there's 30 sheets and it is 230 gsm now this does say it is acid free but it doesn't tell me whether it's uh, lignin free and this one is um these two sheets are monochrome and they don't have any foiling on them. It's a pretty paper and that would look really lovely. I'm just thinking if you wanted to fussy cut um, the flowers out, you could also put your colouring pens and pencils on those. So there's two of those um, and then we have a foiled uh dotty one there and then a plain one um oh that one is really really pretty i like that one and then a plain so it looks to be a foiled sheet and then a plain uh, sheet now they're just single sided and i think i tend to prefer single sh uh, sided sheets um if i'm honest really really pretty nice gingham one now neither of those are actually foiled uh, no. and we have a lovely heart one there and the flowered one lovely pink with sort of turquoise um foiling There's two that aren't foiled. Oh, now that one, I really like that one. That's really, really pretty. And some nice stationery would look really nice using that one. Um, another heart one there. A couple of sheets that aren't foiled. Oh, that is really, really, oh, I like that one. It's really pretty, that one. Um, again, that's your, your turquoise 
So it's catching the blues one way and then it looks a silver when you put it, pop it the other way. Oops. And then you have another monochrome one there and a couple of gingham sheets there. Um, so that's that one. And then this one again is a Craft Sensations and this is Wonderful Brights. And this is also 30 sheets and it is 230 GSM as well. And it says acid free for this one. And there are some really pretty ones. Again, you have a foil and a plane. Now, I really like that. Now, what I'm thinking there, if I just bring the um, linen sheets in, this one here would go absolutely fabulous with that. How does that look? So if you use this as your base card, you could layer this one up on the top, even for your 3D projects. That is absolutely fabulous with that. Um, let's have a look if there was any. You could even possibly pop the light blue one. I don't think that has such a nice um, effect. Even that now of picking the, the purpley colours out in the flowers. There's another one and also the deep pink one which is really pretty as well. It's just a couple of ideas there for that one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and you've got your cerise uh, foiled one and that's leaves on that one, plain one. And again, you could pick up your colours, if I bring that back in again. So we could go the yellow one and the lemon one and also I think the green one would look really nice with that as well. It's just to give you some ideas if you do go out and buy them. Again that one you could match your lemons and yellows and your pink ones in with that one and even the blue, the darker blue in there would look nice. Um, they're really pretty pads and there's a lot of different designs to choose from. It's really really nice. That's that one. And the last paper pad I have is Simply Made Crafts by Helen Griffin. And this is the Travel Keepsakes 12 by 12 paper pad, 24 single sided sheets, and these are 180 GSM. And on this one, we have um, obviously your travel stuff. On this, we've got maps. You've got little bits that you could fussy cut out on this and pop those onto a card. So there's a lot to choose from out of this one as well. You've got some nice sort of tags and tickets here. You've got Paris, Nepal, Barcelona, France, Australia um Rome so you've got quite a few on there that if you wanted you could cut those out um I think this would be really nice obviously to use if somebody's interested and keen on traveling but I think this would be a great pad for your men's um cards and 3d projects so that's that one and a couple of other things I have. These are from the craft stash. Sorry, this simply made crafts one is also from the craft stash. I've bought this 
um, pencil. Well, it looks like a pencil, but it is actually a tool to pick up gems with. However, I find it is a little bit temperamental. So obviously it looks like a pencil, so we need to sharpen it. Um, first of all, and then I've got a little gem here that I'm just going to try to pick it up. And there it has actually picked it up the first time. Um, that seems to be doing a bit better today. I've used it a couple of times before and I didn't think it was, it was very good, however. So that's that. I will let you know how I get along with that one. This here is a um, rubber to rub out your glues. Um, and this seems to work quite well. So again, I will let you know how I get on with that. And the last thing I have in this haul is some Craft Essential Creative Dyes. And these are nesting dies, large ovals. You would have seen me using these in a previous uh, project. I actually used this one on the shadow box card. So they are a great buy as well. Anyway, folks, that's it. That's everything. Um, it was just a few things that I wanted to share with you. And I'm really looking forward to using them. Um, so thanks for watching. And please, if you have enjoyed my video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back again very soon. Take care and bye for now.